Hello and uh, welcome one and all. Today we will cover how to integrate the data build tool or DBT in an Airbyte instance. Airbyte is an extract and load tool. We have covered Airbyte installation and configuration in this video here. Using Airbyte, we extracted data from SQL Server to Postgres database. This was the extract and load part or EL. If we want to transform this data, we can use another tool or SQL. We discussed how to transform data using DBT and demonstrated how to orchestrate Airbyte and DBT using a tool like Dagster. However, in this video, we will cover how to integrate DBT to transform our data within Airbyte. This way, we can trigger our extract and load from Airbyte on a schedule and transformations will be triggered once the data load is complete from Airbyte using DBT. This creates a dependency between extract load and transform. Our transformation will run once the extract and load process is complete. Also, we remove the orchestration tool from this workflow. The DBT Airbyte integration is rather simple. Under the Transformation tab, we can add the DBT as custom transformations. We provide a name for the transformation, the transformation type, a Docker DBT image, entry point argument, and the GitHub repository URL. You can plug in your environment setup and give this a try. Seems simple enough, right? However, you may run into issues. For example, the dbt manifest file error may come up due to differences in dbt versions. Therefore, we want to make sure our dbt and dbt plugin have the same version. Next step is to check whether our dbt the project builds successfully. Once it builds successfully, we can push it to GitHub repo. The Docker image we are providing also needs to have a compatible version. In addition, we need to add a few variables to the dbt project YAML file. Let's take care of the above highlighted issues before plugging in our dbt project. First, let's check the dbt and the plugin version in the virtual environment. We run the following command and it displays the dbt and the plugin version. If there is a difference, then you want to uninstall the dbt core and install the same version as the plugin. Let's check the connection to make sure dbt is able to connect the database. All is good here. In the dbt project.yaml file, we add the following variables. They contain the path to directories that stores compiled SQL files, logs, and external dependencies like dbt packages. If you are using any dbt packages, then run the depths command to install it. I will run the dbt build command to see if the project completes. It has found 20 models and all of them completed successfully along with tests. From the dbt project standpoint, we are good. We can push this to our repository. Make sure you only push the dbt project as shown in this repo. The base directory should include the dbt project.yaml file. Now we need to acquire a dbt docker image with a compatible version. You can locate the docker image for your plugin at the following page. Select your plugin and locate the image with your dbt version. We copy the image and provide it to the docker image URL. If the project contains dbt packages, then we will need two transformation steps. Step 1 to run the depths command to download the packages. Step 2 to actually run the dbt run command. With this, our Airbyte and dbt integration is complete. Now we can trigger a sync and wait for the process to complete. First, it will perform the data pull from SQL Server. We can view the logs to see all of this action. Interesting anecdote. Airbyte uses dbt to create the database tables. As we can see, the build log resembles dbt's model build status. Once this step is complete, then dbt transformation is triggered. First step runs the depths command. On this is complete, the dbt project is run and the transformations are performed. Upon completion, you can view the target schema and view your dims and facts. This is how we can integrate data transformation in the Airbyte. 
With this integration, we can perform ELT using Airbyte. This is all for now. I hope you enjoyed the session. Like, share, and subscribe. Take care, and I'll see you in the next video.